This is on. All right, here we go. I'll hold the microphone. Now, this is this is using the micro console, not a PC. What's in the micro console? What kind of processor? Uh, it's our own custom proprietary decoder chip. So it's small. I mean, it's not. You know, it's also fairly cool. What are you playing, Brian? Uh, I'm playing Borderlands, and I picked it because I'm I'm playing it currently at home. This is a game that I got really into and then didn't quite finish, and then went back to. Uh, so. That way, I'm hoping I'll be able to tell if there's any noticeable lag, but they seem pretty confident, don't they? Yeah, it's kind of nice that they're willing to let you just try it. It's so, just a, it's a, it's a pretty standard uh, game, gaming controller. It's got four buttons. It's got two thumbsticks. It's got a directional stick. You know, it's like a shrunk-down PS3 controller, basically. Now, it looks like it's just a USB interface, and I saw other systems that had a keyboard and mouse, so I'm, I'm guessing that you'd be able to do all of that as well. I won't make you talk while you're playing. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to think and talk and kill at the same time, Leo. Just remember, if your friend is down, run over and heal them quickly. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is a great game. If nobody's, if you haven't played, I've never uh, heard of it. oh no, it's great. It's got this whole comic book aesthetic for it, and um, I don't know if I can skip any of this. It's yeah, it looks like cell animation, which is kind of neat. It really is pretty. One of the things they've done is they have randomly generated guns that have uh, various um, uh, powers and abilities and strengths and weaknesses, and it really kind of builds in you this, uh, somebody called it gun lust, which I thought it was a really good idea, because it's just like every time you get another gun, you're like, oh, I want a bigger, better, better one. And of course, anyone tuning in right now is like, I thought this was E3. This game looks very old. Well, the, the point here in this case is, is not the games as much as the fact that you don't this opens gaming to a new market. Gaming companies are going to love it because piracy is no longer an issue. You, you know, you're subscribing to something. Uh, it's like Steam in some ways, uh, but you don't have to have a high-end machine. All right, let's test the latency here. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really noticing any la latency, or if there is any, it's certainly not any worse than you would get like out of a, a Team Fortress 2 experience on a, on a, on a remote server. Uh, not, again, not the most demanding uh, game in history, but no, no, but 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 regardless, like uh, you know that from the moment you hit playable, yeah, oh, ab oh, Im absolutely playable, and I would imagine that you, you know, you feel you feel it, it, it feels just a l slightly soupy, I would say, but again, uh, would I would wager this is a much superior experience to if you don't have the hardware to run the game. Uh, this is running off their servers in Santa Clara, about 100 miles away. Ryan Shroud tried this out and had some problems with it, but he wasn't on the right servers, and they were uh, online, was a little upset with his review of it. Well, I'm sure when it comes out on Thursday, we'll get a review no, I, from I'm Ryan and, and see. I'm very excited about the possibility with it, and I'm very excited about the catalog of games as well.